Sex and just compromise It's the chance of your life new favorite corner to fill them in now just because it's finally painted <laughs> i really really love this little jumper that i've got on i got this a few years ago from pullenbar and i just absolutely love the color and i love it even more now that i have like ginger hair because it just makes my hair color pop so yeah and it's so comfy as well and it's obviously still a bit cold outside but it's some days are quite warm like i went food shopping yesterday with dad when he finished work and i was so warm that i had to wear a t-shirt and just like a little check shirt over it because i could not put on a jumper or even like a big warm jacket i'm gonna jump back to last week so last wednesday was st patrick's day i hope everybody enjoyed st patrick's day no matter what you were doing i know we're all still in lockdown and it's not what we're used to we're used to getting out for a few drinks with friends it was actually a really good day i actually had a really good st patrick's day so i wasn't even gonna do anything i was just gonna sit in the flat and just like watch a movie or something but my mom had said she was going for a walk and I thought you know what it's a nice day may as well get out of the flat let's go we went for a walk around the waterworks which you would have seen in one of my previous vlogs just at the start it was the park that I went for a walk to that morning and um, it's literally just up the street from me so me and mom went to that park they have a little coffee cart in the park so we got a vanilla latte and it was so nice usually when you get from like those little carts the coffee's not great but it actually was really 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 nice we got a vanilla latte each and we just took a walk around the park there's two main ponds and we walked around both of them twice and then we finally like had a seat and we were just chatting and it was a really nice day so it was really nice to get out and do something and then i went up to my mum's we had food and then we watched a movie with matthew mcconaughey and penelope cruz in it called sahara i don't know if you guys have ever watched it it was the first time me and mum had watched it and I actually really, really, really liked it. We're a big fan of Matthew McConaughey. It reminded me of the Mummy movies. So yeah, I really, really liked it. So Car came down on the Thursday, the day after St. Patrick's Day. I will not say that she was hungover, but she was very tired. So we had this plan. Cozy, comfy day on the sofa, have a Harry Potter marathon but she ended up falling asleep and she was asleep I think for most of Thursday so I was just watching Ugly Betty while she was sleeping because I was ahead of her in the episodes. Car came down again on the Friday which is the next day and she stayed over all weekend so we ordered a pizza on Saturday night. We had a drink, we watched White Chicks and Paul which are two of the funniest movies ever and on the Sunday morning I got us a McDonald's breakfast and we watched the first episode of The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. So, oh my God, I'm very impressed. And so was Cara. Like we both kind of, when we finished the episode, we were like, that was really good for like the first episode. So we're so excited for the rest of the show. Like I'm so happy that they're finally going into the backstory of Sam because he was such a good character and we didn't really see that much of him in the movie so I really like that they're going into his backstory and obviously you've got Bucky Barnes who me and Cara absolutely love so we're excited to hear more about him and his backstory as well and just yeah it's exciting so I'll keep you guys posted obviously like I said I, I never give away any spoilers but I do highly recommend to go and watch it because the first episode was brilliant and yeah Monday and Tuesday I have pretty much been painting as you can probably see it looks a lot better now and I'm just really really happy with how it's turned out so I'm so excited to get like the little prints and stuff all hung up on the walls and yeah just to keep going with the living room and I'll obviously keep you guys updated on the progress and stuff and it will be slow and it'll not be coming out in every single vlog that I do but if I am doing any renovations or something has got done in the living room I will make sure to show you guys. Last night we went food shopping me and my dad so that was always good I love going food shopping because not only does it get you out of the house it also is like it's just 
I love when you go food shopping and you're able to like fill your fridge and your cupboard and it all just looks so like neat and organized and you've so much stuff and it's always nice to catch up with my dad as well so that's another bonus. Last night pretty much got home watched a couple movies and then watched Dan's stream. I just I'm so happy he is just he's in such a good mindset and in such a good place at the moment and you could see it in his streams and last night he was just so happy and that's just so nice to see. I think that's one of the things that just makes me so happy is when I see like my friends and family happy it just it gives you like this wee buzz and it's like yay you're happy so yeah it's, it's nice to see people doing well for themselves as well and um trying to better themselves and trying to grow and, and being happy and just living in the moment monday evening i did a leg workout and yesterday i could not walk like my legs were so sore and so painful and they're still a wee bit like painful today just like moving about so I don't really want to be doing much because it'll obviously make them more sore but at the same time I need to get up. I can't believe that this month is nearly over already like I just feel like these months have not even existed like January, February, March are basically gone and it's like April and it's nearly spring and it's nearly Easter, like Easter soon. Next week I'll be doing my like coffee catch up video, which is crazy because I don't even feel like we have properly had March, like it's just gone. I'm super excited for Easter. I think I'm just going to mum's for dinner and that's pretty much it. But yeah, I'll obviously keep you guys posted because Easter is very, very soon. I wanna show you guys the wall actually. So this is the wall. Ignore this bit here. This bubbled up while I was painting. It basically, my dad's just gonna like kind of cut it out and fix that. Um, but yeah, pretty, I'm really, really happy with how the, the painting has like turned out. Like I only, I've only done about three coats on these walls and they are like really, really nice. So I'm really happy with how they've turned out. I think I'm just gonna make like a cup of tea right now. I've switched my tea bags to the Earl Grey tea bag, so I'll show you guys them now. They are Earl Grey tea bags. I love these tea bags so much. I thought it would be like a nice way to kind of break up me drinking normal tea and coffee uh, i'm trying to cut down on coffee not that i really ever drunk coffee but i would drink a lot of like lattes so i'm trying to cut down on the coffee and drink a bit more water but when i am drinking tea i wanted to kind of go for like more of a flavored tea and when i'm up at my mom's i drink earl grey tea so it's a nice wee change love flowers i picked these up yesterday while i was food shopping and they're blooming already so that's so nice they were like all closed up yesterday and that's just like my little basil tree <laughs> that I use for like sandwiches. Um, but yeah, I'm so, like I absolutely love them. I think that's why I buy flowers. It's not just kind of, it's also like, it's a boost to obviously make me feel good. But it's something nice when you walk into the kitchen in the morning and you see like a really bright bunch of flowers sitting there. And these yellow tulips are definitely bright. And it, it's raining now, but it was really sunny this morning. So when the sun was shining through, you could just, they were literally glowing. Glowing. <laughs> I have gone with this mug that Cara got me for Christmas. I love this mug so much. You know I'm a sucker for mugs and especially when they're Disney. So this one is from The Emperor's New Groove. I loved this movie growing up as a kid. I just thought Cusco was so funny and so savage. I just love mugs like this that kind of have like these little things that like turn around. I think it's so cool. But yeah, I really, really, really love this mug. It's got like kind of like the little quote from Yzma in it. <laughs> so yeah, thanks Car for the mug. I absolutely love it. And again, the sketches, guys. You know how much I love like sketches. Oh, amazing. I feel like I'm obsessed with anything that's banana right now. We got the porridge back and it's the banana one. Woo! So excited. I absolutely love banana porridge. Also bought bananas because I am going to make banana bread. I haven't made banana bread in so long. It was such a big craze last year when everything went into lockdown. 
I made it for the first time last year, even though I cannot cook to save my life. So yeah, I haven't made banana bread in a while, so I picked up bananas yesterday and I'm gonna make it soon. I always like to leave the bananas a few days after I've bought them because I like them to be not like mushy, like ready for the bin, but like soft because you blend them up then. So we'll wait a few days and we will make some banana bread. I have just been really in the mood for watching movies that I have not watched before. I think I'm missing the cinema a lot. I miss that feeling of going to the cinema and just watching a movie and not even knowing what to expect. You're just going into it blindly and you watch it and you end up loving it. So I think I've been trying to, um, trying to have that feeling but like at home because the cinemas aren't open yet so I've been trying to watch movies that I haven't seen before and surprisingly I end up liking a lot of the ones that I have watched. I don't have a TV show to watch. My friend suggested Homeland and I'm pretty sure I think my mum has watched that. I don't know. Um, one of my family members have definitely mentioned it before so I would think I'm going to give that a wee go and check that out. But yes, that is pretty much today's vlog guys. I hope you've enjoyed it as always and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!